In today's video, I want to take a, just a quick look at the metals, mostly gold. Um, I had noted before that uh, gold appeared to be in this uh, triangle consolidation pattern. Uh, it you know, marginally poked above that several days ago, but couldn't hold it. This morning it's breaking above it, but um, I suspect uh, this triangle is probably just going to turn into a box, a consolidation box. So let me show you kind of what I mean. All right. Um, so, um, you know, we, as I showed, uh, we're breaking above that triangle trend line, but I don't know that that means that gold is, is ready to just um, you know, launch higher. I suspect we, you know, it may get up here somewhere 1750, 1760 level and then uh, you know, come back down again. It, it's just this consolidation is, is still a little bit short. Uh, not even really quite, um, hardly even a month yet. And uh, the last couple of these things have tended to run a little bit longer. Um, but I do think that eventually this is going to break out of this consolidation. This will turn into to, out to be a midpoint consolidation, uh, you know, kind of the same as how this was. And then the um, uh, one before that too. Let me widen the screen. All right, here we go. So you can see um, this has been kind of a, a pattern since we started uh, the, the next phase of the bull market, which I think began in um, uh, at that bottom in uh, 2018. Uh, we were getting these first legs up, uh, pretty powerful push, and then the market has to turn sideways for a while and allow the longer term moving averages some time to catch up to price. And you break out of the consolidation and get the second leg up and then immediate top and then the an intermediate correction and, and then the same same pattern kind of played out here uh, strong first leg up sideways churn for about a month and a half and then the second leg and I think that's playing out now here as well and uh, even though we have broken out of the uh, triangle today and uh, gold is back above the 10-day moving average uh, I'm not sure yet uh, that we're we're just going to take off and run straight to 1900. We, we may be stuck in, in this box uh, a little while longer before uh, you know, we really get a, a strong trending move. But I, I do believe this is a, a midpoint consolidation, and I think uh, uh, the breakout is going to be to the upside and not uh, lower. Uh, you know, it's just uh, this is was four weeks into the intermediate cycle, and I. I don't think um, an intermediate cycle in a new bull market is going to top on week four. I think it's going to be uh, somewhere uh, week 12 to week 18 before we get our final intermediate top. And then just a real quick look at silver. I've, I've noted this before that um, it's during the um, latter part of an intermediate cycle that silver tends to uh, outperform uh, gold and usually the miners as well. And you can see it, it happened. Uh, right here during this last uh, several weeks of this intermediate rally silver really started to go ballistic made a lot of money you know um, during this final surge higher and so i'm i'm watching silver it it is starting to get uh, into the timing band you know we're we're starting to move um, into the latter part of this intermediate cycle and uh, and i think uh, silver at some point here, I think it's going to uh, break out. Um, 1600 seems to be a resistance level. I think it's going to break out of that um, above that resistance level, and we're going to get uh, a very strong trending move uh, that I would think will at least test uh, the 2019 highs here, and we may uh, may even go significantly above that because I. I I think uh, we're you know, we're moving into the middle stages of this uh, bull market, and uh, and all sectors of the precious metals should start making higher highs, uh, higher intermediate highs at this point. So, watching silver for the breakout when when that comes, I think it's going to produce a strong move, and I think it's going to drag uh, the rest of the sector uh, along for a very nice ride um, during uh, the second half of 2020.